My third story is about death. When I was 17, I read a quote that went something like, If you live each day as if it was your last, someday you'd most certainly be right. It made, it, it made an impression on me. And since then, for the past 33 years, I've looked in the mirror every morning and asked myself, if today were the last day of my life, would I want to do what I'm about to do today? And whenever the answer had been no uh, too many days in a row, I know I need to change something. Remembering that I'll be dead soon is the best, uh, is the most important tool I've ever encountered to help me make uh, big choices in my life. Because almost everything, all external expectations, or pride, or fear of embarrassment or failure, uh, these things just fall away in the face of death, leaving only what is truly important. Remembering that you are going to die is the best way I know to avoid the trouble of thinking you have something to lose. You are already naked. There's no reason not to follow your heart. About a year ago, I was diagnosed with cancer. I had a scan at 7.30 in the morning, and it clearly, clearly showed a tumor on my pancreas. I didn't even know what a pancreas was. The doctors told me uh, this was almost certainly a type of cancer that is incurable. and that I should expect to live no longer than three to six months. My doctor advised me uh, to go home and to get my affair in order, uh, which is doctor's called for prepare to die. It means, it means It means uh, I try and uh, it means to try and tell uh, my children everything. You thought you'd have next ten years in just a few months. It means. Uh, it means to make sure everything is buttoned up so that it will be as easy as possible for your family. It means to say your goodbye.